Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am the CHALL, your YouTube Sporting Network, and today we are going to be chatting about a brand new transfer update around Doncaster Rovers. Now, this has been reported over the last few hours, last couple of hours, by numerous sources Daily Express, The Herald in Scotland, um, The Sun are reporting it, Football Insider. There's a few sources reporting this now. And uh, basically, it is a three way battle for the loan signature of a 19 year old Rangers winger. Now before we get started, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, click that case boss number shoot your video. And for now let's get into all the details about this story that's surrounding this Rangers player. So let's have a look at all the details around this story and then we'll dive into my thoughts afterwards. So the 19 year old Ross McCausland is wanted by three English clubs as Rangers start their transfer tug of war. Now McCausland is attracting interest from south of the border as three English clubs are reportedly interested in the winner's signature. The Starlet made his Rangers debut in the finale of the last campaign. He came on as sub for the on loan Ahmad Diallo in the 3-1 win against Hearts at Tynecastle on the last day of the league year. Now the Northern Ireland Youth International recently scored for Rangers B team in a pre-season from the Elgin City and featured in their 6-3 defeat to Glen Torren as well. He's set to continue his development with a loan elsewhere for Rangers next season though as he aims to impress Giovanni Van Bronckhorst with regular game time. So, according to Delhi Express, and I know other clubs, uh, other sources have said this as well, the three-way battle is between Crawley Town, AFC Wimbledon, and Doncaster Rovers. Now, McCausland looks like he was on his way out of the UK as he recently played in a friendly for Dutch side De Grashap after joining the club on trial. And in the match, he showed Blues fans exactly what he's all about after recently signing on to a new three-year deal at Ibrox. The winger scored a stunning goal in the pre-season fixture against Wylan the second. McCausland darted into the box at pace before jinking past two players as he bared down on goal. He then had the composure to calmly lift the ball over the goalkeeper and into the back of the net with his left foot from around 10 yards out. That's a, just a taste of what he can do. But after returning to Ibrox last week, it was clear that Rangers needed to explore other options. And now it seems like there are plenty of options for the youngster, with the English clubs ready to battle it out for him in the coming weeks. So let's share my thoughts then on this Russ McCausland guy and just a little bit uh, about this guy stats wise and also why I think he might and might not be a good signature and also what this means for the other wingers at the football club. So there we are ladies and gentlemen that is the story around Ross McCausland. Now just a little bit of extra stats on him from last season. He did get three goals in five appearances in the UEFA Youth League which is basically the Youth Academy's version of the UEFA Champions League uh, last season and as it said in the report he came on from Adiallo in a friendly. Uh, sorry, so towards the end, of the, in the last, the end, the ending day of the last campaign, he came on from a Diallo and also played in a friendly or two for Rangers B team this preseason. So, um, he's got ex he's got some experience. It, it, it might be B team experience. It might be just that one bit of senior team experience coming off the bench from a Diallo, but it's experience and. Um, you know, was this the signing that, I, I won't lie to you guys, didn't know a lot about him when I first heard the news a couple of hours back, a few hours back. Uh, had to do some research on him. From the report there and from, one, from, from the goal that he scored in that match, it sounded like, you know, he was a good player. Um, obviously, you can't judge it on just one attacking move. You know, you've got to be realistic here. But um, from the sounds of it, and from what I've seen from like Rangers Academy reports and things like that, from what I've done reading up on a few of them, sounds like he's uh, a pacey, quick winger, quite a bit of potential. Um, again, he's another type of winger that I think the club needs. I think that. You know, we need wingers that are not afraid to run at defenders and go for it. Carl Hurst did that. Lee Tomlin did that. I'm sure John Taylor does that when he comes back. Aidan Barlow when he uh, returns, hopefully, as well. I think it's very, very interesting. Uh, do I think it's the priority of the three positions that we need loans in? Because that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about either a six-month loan or a season-long loan. Is it the priority position? 
I think centre midfield definitely, but it's a toss up 50 50 percent between full back and winger for the other position for what we need in terms of loan for depth. So again, it's interesting. I think I think if we got a winger and a centre midfielder and then maybe a permanent fullback, then I think people, I think we'd be all right. I think if we got two low knees and then that third position, whether it's winger or fullback or centre midfielder, we got a permanent deal for that one. I, I, I don't think many people would complain. But as Gary McSheffrey hinted in previous interviews this past week or two, we have to draw the line somewhere in terms of transfers. You know, we have to draw the line somewhere and we can pretty much assume our business is done anyway. So... Any ex like the extra loans and that, like the extra loan or two, could be considered a bonus for me. But again, it's going to be very, very interesting. It sounds like a pacey, quick winger. Sounds like he's a very determined winger as well. Sounds like the kind of winger that we need uh, for a, for a loanee as well. Seems like someone who's going to work hard for the shirt each and every week. So we c we can't complain really in terms of regular game time. It's going to be hard, isn't it? When you got Hurst, when you got Molyneux, when you got Tomlin, uh, Taylor coming back. Ballo coming back. So when you've got five wingers there already, it's going to be very, very hard to get consistent in and out, in and out game time. That will only come, though, if you impress the manager. That's my take on it anyway. But um, in terms of Crawley and Wimbledon, do I see them going for them? I really don't know because I'm not a huge knowledgeable man on those two clubs. So uh, Wimbledon fans, Crawley fans, comment down below. Do you think that McCausland would suit your club? Comment down below why and why not. Um, and I think it's going to be a very, very interesting story to follow. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, this week, in a few days' time, the season begins. So the predictions for all four major football leagues, professional football leagues, will be coming uh, this week, including a very special guest for the League 2 predictions. For the league that Donny are in, got a very special guest. So stay tuned for that one. And for now, guys, I am the C-H-A-L-L. Your YouTube Sporting Network, and that is full time. Riverside Dad, thank you very, very much.